And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition. Rehash time. Boulevard. Unfiltered wheat ale. I uh, Someone had gave, gave me this uh, to me. Um, well, true story. American Pale Wheat Ale style. Actually, true story. I was um, at Tower, and I said, okay, hey, this is something... I haven't had, and then I had to go through my archives and videos and say, yes, Mr. Pierre, you did review this, so we're doing a rehash. Anyway, um, it is 4.4%, as we're still, even though now we're in, so we're in September now, we've still got a couple of days until summer says adios, so... Might as well try a beer that is popular this time of year. Um, lagers, sours, this just during this time of year, season, I should say. Lagers, adjunct lagers, pilsners, sours, and um, and the and this style, pale ales, wheat, excuse me, a wheat pale ale. So here's what the beer looks like, folks. A little head up top, but not much, you see. Or orangey look to it. I like the haircut? Yeah, I needed one. Get one. Anyway. So. Here's what it looks. Has scent of definitely some orange. Tangerine, but you know, obviously, a little too much hops in this, but it's but definitely a very citrusy scent. I'm getting to this right away. So, when I reviewed this first time in 2018, you know, and those were probably the one and the other Boulevard beer I've had has been their Tropical Pale Ale, which I think is their flagship beer. Brewery based in Kansas City. If I'm correct. It is. Yep. Kansas City, Mizzou. I will visit that city one day. Well, more for the barbecue than anything, but. So. Smells good. Smells decent. So. Let's sip, shall we? Pretty light. Of course, the can at that time, only thing that's different is just the can has changed. When I reviewed it the last time, it was more, um, uh, had a very sort of golden red black lettering, very bold lettering in it. Black, gold, orangey lettering in a, a can. So I guess they made some changes to the packaging, as you can see. Definitely, again, the fruitiness, there's a citrusy feel to it, very light, not too, not too overly heavy, which is what these beers are supposed to be, you know. Um, I don't really drink a lot of wheat beers or pale wheats during this time of year. Again, adjunct, lagers, um... Pilsners, uh, pale ales maybe, but and even sours, I don't drink that much, even though there's sours everywhere. When I turn around, I go to the store, I see a sour here, a sour there, like that. What's up with that? You know, so, um, so. Nice, easy, not too overly offensive. Just a good, decent, you know, good beer. A good, light, you know, refreshing, you know, 
uh, brew to, to have with friends um, or by yourself. You're not nothing overly heavy. And I think that's usually this time of year, end of the day, again, being warm. Um, this would this would be something to be good to kind of consume. Again, like I said, I'm more of an adjunct lager, more of a uh, give me a pilsner, give me a maybe a pale ale, maybe anything that's gonna hit the spot. I I don't get I don't get the popularity of seltzers. I don't get the popularity of of those type those those form of drinks. Maybe a mixed cocktail. I could understand, but you know, but. We live in a time now, everybody's very conscious about their weight, their, 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 what they're putting, uh, what they put into their bodies, you know. And I, I get all that, it makes sense, but, you know, and why are they popular, but I'm just, don't pretty much care for it, in my personal opinion, but, you know. But I know some of you out there like it, so. Anyway. This was, uh, I, I purchased it at Tower for about $1.59 for the can. A little, maybe a bit steep, but it, was, it had the little sale of things all over in this little uh, shopping cart and all these different beers that say, hey, you know, pick, whatever, whatever. So I said, uh, I'll try it. But again, I said, wait a minute, I think I've, I may have done this before, but maybe, let me take a look. So that's why I went and did my research on my video, and there it was. So, but hey. And nothing wrong doing a rehash, right? Especially when it comes to a certain beard. I haven't done before. I've done before, but yeah. I was kind of leery about actually taking that back. I was kind of leery about doing this, but I said, you know what? I haven't had a beer today, so I said, let me go ahead and it's right here. Let me go ahead and put it on the channel. So I'm going to review it. So there. So there you have it. Anyway, um, I don't know what score I gave this the last time. I think I might have said B minus, but I think because again my first beer of the day, I'll go B on this one. Uh, so this is a B for me. Yeah, B minus B B plus. So, so this will be a B for me. So it'll be 8.2, 8.3 for the Boulevard Brewing Company's Unfiltered Wheat. Uh, of course, the breweries I mentioned, based in Kansas City. They have a slew of other beers out there, but only two I have tried has been this one and the. Uh, Ale, ale so um check it out so that is my score hmm. john henderson here with the beverage ramble to keep on watching as always cheers live laugh and love <laughs> on the boulevard we take it hard with a weed ale hey okay. unfiltered right <laughs>